Hi and welcome to another level three tutorial. This time we're going to talk about market pulp. We're going to be talking about uh, what type of trees we use, where they come from, but mainly the nomenclature used in, uh, in pulp. Here we have, uh, just before we start, it's interesting to have a look at the geography and the distribution of trees throughout the world. You can see here that in this sort of uh, J green area, this is where we're actually uh, planting far more trees than we chop down. In this green area here, everything's about on par, we're chopping down as many as we're planting. Um, in the red areas, this is our areas of concern that we're actually chopping a lot more trees down than we're planting. First thing to do is to look at the yield. It's quite interesting looking at the yield of trees. So Brazil, a hot, humid country, plenty of water, plenty of heat. Trees grow quickly. Eucalyptus is one of the most common trees grown in this area for harvesting. As you can see, it has a stock rotation of only seven years. So from planting the sapling to harvesting the tree, just seven years. And this gives a yield of 50 cubic metres of wood per hectare per year. Now in this area, because the trees are growing fast, this will affect the morphology of the fibres. Fibres will grow with a very large lumen and a very thin cell wall. This thin cell wall means that the fibres will collapse very easily. So they will make really good printing and writing papers. They'll have very good strength because we've got lots and lots of fibre-fibre contact. But it won't be very porous, not very good for tissue. Chile, not as hot, not as much water around as Brazil. So things take longer to grow. The harvesting cycle is typically 25 years and we are managing to harvest 22 cubic metres of wood per hectare per year. If you look at colder climates, like Sweden for example, Sweden well known for growing its birch trees rather than eucalyptus, rotation, stock rotation, 35 to 40 years, producing only four hectares, uh, four cubic metres per hectare per year. And when you get all the way down to Canada, quite cold up in Canada, a rotational time of uh, 90 years, so you're planting for your grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and producing a yield of only two cubic metres of wood per hectare per year. In these cold climates, because the fibres are growing so slowly, this again will affect the morphology, fibres here will have a very small lumen and a very thick wall. So with a very small lumen, a very thick wall, it's very difficult for fibres to collapse, so they'll stay more rounded in shape. This will mean less fibre-fibre contact, so a weaker piece of paper. But it will create paper that's got a higher caliper and a lot more porosity. Great for tissue, but uh, terrible for printers and writings. It's interesting to look at the, uh, the growth of uh, wood consumption. As paper consumption increases, then the growth of pulp to feed that demand is also increasing. We're getting more and more recycled fibre being used, but we still need virgin fibre. The um, grey one here, BSKP, Bleached Softwood Craft Pulp. This has been rising, but it's levelling out. And this is partly due to the increased amount of uh, recycling that's being done. The green line here, BHKP, bleached hardwood craft pulp, is showing a nice steady increase. Hardwoods, of course, the main use of hardwoods is providing good formation for paper. And a really interesting is the yellow one down here, or orange one. BEKP, this is bleached eucalyptus craft pulp. So whereas the green line represents all hardwoods, this line here represents just one hardwood, and that is the eucalyptus. So as you can see, eucalyptus is by far the most preferred hardwood. Before we talk about uh, pulping, I'll just give you a little reminder of my little pulping tree. So pulping, there are two types of pulping. We have mechanical pulping and we have chemical pulping. The original 
first pulping was mechanical. It was devised using the grindstone, and then later on we moved on to use to refine mechanical pulp. Then we got chemical pulps. We had the soda process, no longer used for non wood fibres. We had the sulphite process, and then finally we had the sulphate process, also known as the craft process. I've done this one in red just to uh, remind you that this is an acidic process, whereas these two are much more alkaline in nature. It, we, sh we need an appreciation really of, of how much of the pulping in the world is in what type of pulping. And as you can see here, almost three quarters of all the pulping done in the world is chemical pulping. Approximately a quarter is mechanical pulping and a little bit, maybe 5%, is hybrid pulping. And what we mean by hybrid pulping is a little bit of each. So a little bit of chemical pulping, usually followed by a little bit of mechanical pulping. If we look at chemical pulping in more detail now, we get uh, this pie chart. So as you can see, over half of all the chemical pulping is bleached craft pulping. Probably 90% of all the pulping is craft pulping. This much unbleached, no, this much bleached craft, this much unbleached craft. And we have a small amount of sulfite pulp pulping, probably not more than about five or six percent. So three or four percent will be bleached sulfite pulps, one or two percent will be unbleached sulfite pulp. So the craft process is by far the most dominant pulping process that we have. Just going back to uh, our pulping tree for a moment. If we just expand on that little branch of mechanical pulping, we said they were refined pulps and groundwood pulps. These are also subdivided. The refined pulps can either be simply RMP, where you take the wood chips and walk it through a refiner, do nothing else, or TMP, where you heat up the wood chips first before putting it through a refiner. Groundwood pulping, the original method was the stone groundwood process, where we take a whole tree trunk press it against the grindstone, don't apply any heat, just like we don't apply heat with these. And pressurised groundwood, PGW, where we take the tree trunks, heat them up with steam before we put them against the grindstone, just like here, we heat it up the wood chips before we put it into the refiner. So these are analogous systems. <clears throat> it's important to understand the nomenclature of, uh, of pulping processes. We tend to use lots of letters for, for shorthand, for acronyms. So the more common ones are, as you see, B for bleached, U for the eucalyptus, H or HW for hardwood, K for craft, M for mixed, mixed fibres, mixed trees, N for northern, P for pulp, and S is usually softwood, but it could also be southern. And if you go to this website here, paperonweb.com, click on the uh, menu at the side for grades when you get there. Click on the menu at the top for um, pulp types and you'll see a whole range of all the different types of pulps that are produced in the world. <clears throat> here are some uh, nomenclature examples. NBSKP, what does that stand for? Just uh, pause the video, have a think for a moment. When you're ready, press continue. We'll see how you do it. Okay, welcome back. There we go. N. Northern. Northern. Bleached. Softwood. Craft. Pulp. Ready for another one? Okay, pause the video. Welcome back. SPHKP, Southern Bleached Hardwood Craft Pulp. A little exercise for you now. Go back to that uh, paper on web website and see if you can find out what these are. NBHKP, CTMP, BTCMP. UBSK and finally BEKP. If you had any problems with those, send me an email. We're uh, 
accessible by any of these uh, social media links, please feel free to contact us at any time. And thank you for listening to this video.